Welcome. In this tutorial video you will learn how to open a scan project, connect VirtuSurf with DraftSite, use scan data for drawing layout plans and elevations inside DraftSite, and how to edit macros to adopt them for your needs. Since DraftSite uh, is not able to load any point cloud data inside this CAD, um, it's very helpful to have VirtuSurf to uh, evaluate laser scan data uh, and create layout plans and elevations with draft tight. So in the screen you can see VirtuSurf on the left hand side and draft side on the right hand side. And I like to show you how you can open a project. I will open one of my recent projects here and uh, you can see the scans on the left in the scan explorer you can see a scan overview map and I will just open um, two scans by selecting them with um, shift and click on them, right click I can open true color, I can also open scans by double clicking on them um, and I can zoom in, in and out scrolling the mouse and if I want to connect my VirtuSurf with my draft site, I just need to go here to send coordinates distance to Windows applications. This opens a macros bar, send to Windows, where we have some predefined macros for sending coordinates and distances to Excel or to any uh, other application. And we have prepared um, two macros for sending X, Y, Z coordinates or just 2D coordinates to a CAD system. If we look into such a macro, edit the macro, we can see it's sent in a manner that we send the coordinates separated by commas and followed by an enter. So this is what most uh, CAD systems want to have if they are um, AutoCAD clones or IntelliCAD clones like this draft site. Um, so to draw a um, layout plan in DraftSite I need to connect uh, my VirtuSurf with DraftSite so I pull the Finder tool over to DraftSite DraftSite is being recognized and the connection is been established OK so now that the connection has been established between VirtuSurf and DraftSite I can go to DraftSite run the line command and go back to VirtuSurf, run the 2D because I just want to create a layout plan. I will just send 2D coordinates, not 3D coordinates. So I will hit this macro XY and now I will digitize the outline. Oh, I still have some markers in here. I can delete them by using this button, delete all markers and start from scratch. And you can see while I'm clicking on the left hand side in VirtuSurf, on the right hand side in draft side, the geometry is drawn. Pick here, pick there, and so on and so forth. And this way I have finished, switch back, hit escape, and now I can use draft side tools to sharpen the corners between those uh, lines over here. and. If I want to add the neighboring room, I will just um, start the line command once more, go back to VirtuServe, switch to the neighboring room, scan, and start drawing once more by picking the points in the corners or close to the corners. like that. So now that you've seen how you can connect and how you can draw, if you continue like I have shown you, um, then you can create a nice layout plan like this one. You can also add um, blocks using the insert command of draft side and you can fill in um, height of rooms or width and height of a door also by using um, those um, XYZ or by um, measuring the distances of from from um, ceiling to floor and 
transfer by copy and paste the distances into the blocks in draft side. This is what I wanted to show you. Um, if you want to learn how you can create your own macros uh, with WordUserve, please refer to the according tutorial video. There are more tutorial videos showing you how you can navigate in WordUserve and how you can get your raw scan data into a WordUserve project. Thanks for your attention and goodbye.